Spurs are looking for a manager. <laughs> Highly unlikely. <laughs> and, uh, I think that uh, uh, I, I, I know Antonio Conte, and I wasn't surprised to to see the the rant and the rave. Um, and of course, if you look at it in its context, uh, if you'd have said it a lot, Carver, it might have had a bit more effect because it was absolutely spot on, really. Where where top them lie as a football club today, like you I mean? So uh, uh, there's a huge amount of because normally when we lose it like that and we we have a rave, it, it can be it can be not as um, as to the point as it was, but it was to the point. And you know, Tottenham, great stadium, great football club, you know, but just can't get over the line. And they can't get over the line because it's not the managers, it's because the players that have been brought in are not quite good enough to get there. So you can't have all those managers and say it's all the managers fault. Yeah. It's just impossible. You know, so um well, they are where they are and until that changes, uh it's unlikely that they uh they're gonna finish any any higher than they do. And I thought it was a bit of a miracle him getting them into Champions League last season. Um, but, you know, if they lose Harry Kane, what are they going to do? Because that's going to be a massive, massive problem if uh, Tottenham lose Harry because he's, you lose the goals, you, you, you're going to end up being a, a mediocre Premier League side if you can't find a replacement. And I'm not sure that there's, there's many replacements as good as Harry Kane that would would come to Tottenham. And that's, I don't want to be disrespectful for Tottenham because he's a fantastic football club and and done a brilliant infrastructure in terms of the stadium and and, and maximising their revenue. I get all that, but they're just not quite at the level of... Um, even though Liverpool having a bad season, Liverpool, Man City, Man United now, and, and of course Man City, and, and Arsenal. What did you make of Conte leaving? Were you surprised or were you expecting it when you saw the comments? I'm quite honest. I was surprised in the fact it actually took him that long to come out with with what he said because if you look at Conte over his career, he's a very outspoken man whenever it kind of suits him. If he felt that it, that's the right time or it's on his chest, he just says it, but he held that one for long and that's why I think there was that sort of explosion with it and I think like Big Sam said, I think if he had said it in a different way, people would have respected it, but because it came across kind of like angry and I wouldn't say resentful, but basically calling people out, people's taking it as he's just stay, making that like he's giving somebody a dig. But I think in general, if you're a football fan and you watch football or you're a Spurs fan, you understand exactly what he's saying and where he's going from. Because I've always said you can't, there's a lot of managers that's gone in there that's done really, really well at other clubs but seem to get to Spurs and, and foul. So that can't be a coincidence for me. 